Good morning everyone. Today we will go through the topic that is data type. In last video also I explained you some of the things about data type. Let's do some revision on data type and uh, thereafter I will give you some questions as a homework. So you have to do this all homeworks and you have to write the answers in my comment section area. So I'm requesting you all to listen this video carefully and complete all the questions whatever I will give to you. So let's see. Okay, so this is data type. Data types are of two types. First one is called as primitive and second one is called as non-primitive. First one is called as primitive data type and second one is called as non-primitive. Correct now? Primitive means one more definition of primitive is what? Predefined. Predefined data types are also called as primitive. And non-primitive means user-defined. User-defined data type. Actually, the user-defined means what? That user means we all are user. Those who are using computer, they are called as user. So when a user use the primitive data types, these all, these all data types, to make something else data type, that is called as non-primitive. By the combination of these all primitive data types, we are making what? Non-primitive. We are making what? Non-primitive. So two, two data types are there. One is a primitive, one is non-primitive. Primitive means predefined and non-primitive means user-defined. Now you see the primitive one first. Primitives are of three sections. First one is numeric, you see, N U M. E R I C numeric. Third, second one is what? Non numeric. And third one is what? Floating. First one is numeric. Second one is non numeric. And third one is floating. Now numeric means integers. Numeric means integers. 0 to 0 to 9. Integers. So integers are of four types. First one is int, long, short byte and non-numeric are of two types one is char and one is boolean char containing characters single character that will be in between single course and boolean containing true or false true or false the third category is what floating floating means decimal value fractional value that is of two types first one is float and second one is double float and double float generally we are using for the small decimal value and double we are using for the big means decimal value big numbers just like the 2.111111 like that and uh, fractional numbers we are using double okay now so this is the introduction about the data type now you see the non primitive it's of three types one is class one is string and one is array so these all things we will discuss afterwards. Afterwards mean the uh, meaning is uh, we will learn these all things in class 10th. Correct now? String you know. String I will explain now. But other things now we will ex I will explain you in class 10th. Now you have to learn these all things. So we will go through some of the examples. Let's see some of the examples and understand. Ah, so we will go through some of the examples. We will see that how to create different types of uh, variables how to store different types of values and how to utilize the data types let's see some examples first i am explaining you about int so for example if i will write int int <coughs> int a equals to if i will write 5 now a is the variable name a is what the variable name 5 is what? 5 is the value and int is what? Int is the data type. Ah, now explanation is what? That the variable a stores a data that is how much? 5 and this 5 is integer type. This 5 is coming in between 0 to 9. That's why this is int type int. Correct now. Second example we will see. Second one is long. 
long if i will write mob is the variable name day type is long now long is used to store very big means uh, integer values for example your mobile number your uid number these all things so i'm storing one number see how big number it is not possible to store in integer so we need to make it is as long now next we will see some more data types so uh, let me clean the blackboard now we will go through char now see here char and i am writing ch so ch is the variable name and char is the data type and char is used to store single data and which is a alphabet an alphabet so i am writing here a but this is wrong this one is wrong why wrong because i forget to give a single quotes there must be a single quotes uh, and that value must be inside that if i will write like this char and i am writing ch and i am writing ab now this is absolutely wrong because character can store a single value only this is correct only single value and here i store two values so this is wrong correct now now question is what if there will be more than one character then which uh, data type we will use now see here i am using string string and i am writing name so if your name is ankit so i will write ankit a n k i t but one mistake is there what is the mistake that ankit the value must be in between double quotes now we can say this is correct so whenever one data one single character then we need what character char and if more than one character then we have to use what string so now we will go through some of the more examples so let's see now we will uh, go through some more data types that is boolean boolean stores only true or false for example boolean x equals to i can write true boolean y equals to i can write false correct na this x and y is the variable name and boolean is the data type and true and false is the value the next one is float the next is float and float uh, is the data type and i will write one uh, variable name that is i can write a b c d anything now float is storing a very small uh, decimal value so i am can write 2.1 float b equals to i can write 3.1 so float is the data type a and b is the variable and 2.1 and 3.1 are the value are the value okay now the next we will see now we will go through double d o u b l e double double is a data type which can store very big decimal value as well as a uh, fractional value so i'm writing double pi equals to 22 by 7 double pi equals to 22 by 7 next i can write double m equals to i can write 2.11111 see very big decimal value that also i can store in double correct na so this is the this all data types you have to go through nicely just go through the video now i will uh, explain i will uh, give you some homework and that homework uh, hopefully you all will count it correct na and i must uh, message me in the comment section so for that i will reply you also and you'll get some marks for that so dear students this is the homework you can see you can write in your copy also the homework the question number 1 is what name any two types of name any two types of numeric data types the second question is what name any two types of non numeric data types third is what name any two types of floating data types and fourth one is what 
create different variables to store the following data that is 240 is given the first a essentials 2.0 2.3333 and here is some unknown mobile number i don't know whose mobile number it is <laughs> so uh, next is false and uh, one more is given uh, so you have to find out this false is in between double course so you have to create different variables and you have to store the data now I'm going to solve one of the question of question number four. So for that it will not create any difficulties for you. So I'm going to solve one other question. Now I'm solving this one. This question I'm solving. Now see here. This is a single character. Single character. Only one character. So I have to use what? Care. Care is the data type name. And a variable I can take anything. CH I'm taking. And A is the value. Now see, this is wrong. This is what? Wrong. So how to make it correct? Or oh, limitation is there. That single course not given by me. So single course. Correct now? So, so students, homework given to you. And all the homeworks, whatever given by me, it is given whatever taught by me today. So I'm requesting you all to complete all the homeworks and in your computer copy as well as you have to mention your home means the answers in my comment section area so for that i can give you the marks you should write the name of the student means uh, whatever your name now you write your name and then write the uh, solution so for that it will be easy for me to give you the marks hopefully you all understood if any difficulties please uh, ask me the questions whatever difficulties you have so for that i can give you the uh, solutions also okay thank you very much have a nice day